Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm your trainer for the next three minutes. I want you to fasten your seatbelts because we're in for a very quick training ride. If you look around, the backdrop is a car and I thought, you know what, how neat is this uh, to be able to deliver the message to you in a car. So fasten the seatbelts because we're going now. Um, over the next three minutes, I want to teach you about a tool that's really, really important in terms of dealing with an angry customer, an angry client, or even an angry employee. As you know, the workplace is dealing with so many issues right now, with limited resources, um, cut, cut budgets, um, staffing that really is streamlined, very lean machines I like to call them. But in the midst of all the change, there's a lot of angry people out there. And so this tool will really help you, not only in your own interactions, but also to be able to share with other people as well to help them deal with angry customers and angry employees. Um, you'll notice that in front of you that you have workbooks. Please turn to page 12. On page 12, there is a section for you to take notes if you'd like to. And then there's also going to be an assignment or exercise that we're going to do afterwards. It really gives you a time to really apply the material that you're going to learn in the next three minutes. Um, I encourage you after the training to revisit that material and practice that. Um, you'll notice that you are you are also seated in tables with four people so please make sure that um, after we're done in this three minute video that you are able to sit with somebody, partner with somebody and practice the skills as well. So let's go through heat and what heat means. H-E-A-T. The first one is H and that really means hear them out. Have you ever really been in an, in an interaction before where you were upset, clearly upset? I don't care whether it's, uh, you can really apply that situation to retail, to customer service, to manufacturing, to any, any business sector. But just think about a time when you were really upset and you wanted to really verbalize what was, uh, what was wrong and um, you're talking to somebody and the person you're talking to didn't want to hear you. What did that do to you? I'm sure it clearly frustrated you, right? So the H stands for really hear somebody out. And so um, I'd like you to look at your uh, workbook again and, and look at the H and kind of think about uh, a situation, um, like I just said, that you were very upset, but you couldn't really get anything out because the person that you were trying to talk to didn't want to hear you. And just make sure that you're writing that down. H in heat stands for hear them out. And that really means to practice the quiet skill, as I like to call it. Be quiet. Just take a step back and let the person who's angry talk to you. Don't offer them any solutions. Just be quiet and let them vent, okay? The E, H-E, stands for empathize in heat. And that means there's a difference between empathize and sympathize, and it's difficult to kind of understand the difference. But I caution you to give you an example. Don't ever say, I understand where you're coming from in a situation when somebody's very mad because, quite frankly, you may not have a clue what they're going through. On the other hand, if you can tell that person that you have an ability to, to, to relate to that person and that you can kind of see their point, they like to hear that. They want to be able to see that you have some form of empathy. I mean, can you imagine if you're mad at somebody and they can't relate to you at all, what does that do to your temper? What does that do to the situation? It doesn't really make it any better, right? So. The E in heat stands for empathize. Then we have the A, and this is very, very, very important in the heat process or the heat tool. It stands for apologize. And many people really have a hard time understanding what the A means. A lot of times when you're dealing with somebody angry, you did not create the problem. However, it is you that's hearing the, the, the pain or the suffering or the anger. And so you need to be able to step back and say, you know what? I understand where you're coming from and I am sorry for the situation. It really is giving them a general apology and that really goes so far in a situation when somebody is very angry with you. It doesn't mean that you created the problem, but it does mean that you are, you are really sorry and truly sorry for, for their problem. Um, and you'll find that when you listen to somebody, you hear them out, you empathize, and then you also apologize. It really takes the wind out of their sail, and it really does tend to kind of uh, uh, diffuse the anger that they have. And then the, la the very last um, uh, step in the heat process is T, and that is take action. And that means you may not be the person to be able to solve their problems, but you promise that you'll either find somebody who can, or if it's you that can solve the problem, you promise to do so. So, um, you know, think about it again, go back to a time when you're very angry at a situation. It could be as simple as going through the drive through window at McDonald's, getting the wrong order, but going all the way home to your house to feed your kids 
only to find out that the order is incorrect and you have a bunch of picky eaters. If you called McDonald's and they didn't care, how would that make you feel? However, if you called them and they heard you on the phone, they apologized, but they emphasized first, they apologized, and then they said, what can I do for you? Or let me give you a free meal, or something to that effect. If they took action, how would that make you feel? Wouldn't it make you feel a lot better? So the acronym today is HEAT, H-E-A-T. H stands for hear them out, E stands for empathize, A stands for apologize, and T stands for take action. So I hope that you found this very quick uh, mini tutorial uh, informative and relevant to today's marketplace. And now I encourage you all in groups of two please or pairs of two to sit down and go through the workbook and think about a time that you were angry and how did you deal with that and go through each of the letters in the acronym and be able to um, provide some examples of how you would be able to to do to do this very give this very tool to somebody that's angry as well um, and then I'll, after we're able to do that in about 15 minutes I'm going to ask for some volunteers in our group to be able to share their experiences um, and I think you'll find this a very useful tool. And I also, again, encourage you to share this, pass this gift along to somebody else because I guarantee it's something so valuable that I don't think you should keep it to yourself. You should share it and pass it along. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.